Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who were well. Peace salutations to the elect Akim. On the four corners, pushing his truth and sincerity. Peace be unto you. Okay, this uh lesson I want to do about uh Ezekiel 47. Now, I'm going to start with verse 1. This is uh, Ezekiel 47. 1. Afterward, he brought me again unto the door of the house. Uh, wait one second. Okay, yes, I'm start with verse 1. Afterward, he brought me again unto the door of the house, and behold, waters issued out under the threshold of the house eastward. For the forefront of the house stood toward the east, and the waters came down from under the right side of the house at south side, at the south side of the altar. Then brought he me out of the way, the gate northward, and led me about the way without unto the utter gate by the way that looketh eastward and behold there ran out waters on the right side and when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits and he brought me through the waters and the waters were to the ankles and again he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters the waters were to the knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters were to the loins. Afterward he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over, for the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that I could not pass over. So this is a vision. Now we're going to break down what you know this is, because it would seem like you know it's talking about actual water, but it's not talking about this. It's, it's more deeper meaning. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, read back over verse 1 again but I want to get something over here this is Psalms 119 verse 9 Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed thereto according to thy word so the scripture says this is how you clean your ways according to the word now when you clean something if you clean anything you have to use water when you use water that's what cleanses you. You know, you get, you know, you want to take a shower, you want to clean your car, you got to use water. You want to clean, you know, uh, uh, your body, got to use water. You want to clean your teeth, you have to use water. Water is the word. The word is what cleanses you. Um, another one, I think this is in Psalms as well. Or maybe it's Proverbs. So like here. Okay, bear with me. Okay, Psalms, it's Proverbs 16 and 22. Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath it, but the instruction of fools is folly. Let's read it again. Understanding is a wellspring of life 
So a wellspring is talking about water, understanding. And how do you get understanding? Is through this word. This word is what gives you understanding. Okay, and uh, I'm going to go back over here actually to Ezekiel 47.1. Afterward, he brought me again unto the door of the house, and behold, waters issue out from under the threshold of the house. So the water is this truth. For the forefront of the house stood toward the east, and the waters came down from under the right side of the house at the south side of the altar. And then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward, and led me about the way unto without unto the utter gate by the way that looketh eastward, and behold, there ran out waters on the right side. And when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters, which waters again is this truth. The waters were to the ankles. So if you got waters at your ankles, it's not very, very high. Verse four, again, he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters. The waters were to the knees. So now if it goes from water to the uh, water, go from your ankles to your knees, that's showing progression. And this is what this truth is. You know, at first, it was, you know, to the ankles where it wasn't really out here like that. Now, it's progressing. You know, you can equate, you know, it being at the ankles when, you know, uh, 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 the head apostles, Abba Bivens, uh, Masha, Yaquab, uh, Ariyah were teaching us the truth. You know, the, the, there weren't camps out in Holland. And in uh, Australia, and uh, UK, and in Mexico, and uh, all these other places. And he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters. The waters were to the knees. So now you're showing progression, you know. And afterwards, you got the apostles that came on the scene. They started teaching the truth, you know. Then the 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 the, the waters became more. Uh, be, they, because they put it on the internet, so they was able to wake up even more people. You know, they were the first ones to go on the internet. You know, with full length videos. You know, as opposed to Nate, who was giving you know just short clips of the truth. You know, Nate went you know on the whole internet. I mean, the apostle went on the internet. You know, showed out the full videos. And again, he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters. The waters. Well, on to the knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters or to the loins so now it's to the loins now you got brothers in other countries waking up you know and teaching the same truth afterward he measured a thousand and it was a river that I could not pass over for the waters were risen waters to swim in a river that I could not pass over because there's so much truth out here you can't watch all the videos so this progression of this truth has just been out constantly being pushed 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 you know, and this is something Esau don't like. You know, everybody done stumbled across a, a Israelite video at one point, whether they were to scoff at it, you know, whether they would look at it, you know, just to see, you know, something controversial, or if they saw the thumbnail and didn't click it, you know, you've got videos all over the uh, the, the internet, you know, with uh, Israelite videos. Uh, Verse 7, now when I had returned, behold, at the bank of the river were very many trees on the one side and the other. Then said he unto me, these waters issued out toward the east country and go down into the desert and go into the sea, which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. So it sounds like it's a river, you know, taking its natural course. Read it again. Then said he unto me, These waters issue out toward the east country and go down into the desert. The desert is a dry place, you know. And an oasis is basically water in the middle of a desert. And America, you know, was once void of truth, but now this is a flood. You know, there's water everywhere in this place. Uh, 
these waters issue out toward the east country and go into the desert and into the sea. So now the sea is not talking about in the water. Uh, this is... Revelation 17 and horns. Okay, 17 and 15, I believe. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples. So the waters are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues so a large body of people will be considered a sea so this is how the reading again then said he unto me these waters this is the truth is shoot out toward the east country and go down into the desert desert place where there is no truth where it's dry and go into the sea a large area a pop of people places tongues according to revelation 17 and 15 because a uh, because peop the people are the waters, so a large body of water is called would be a sea. So this is the sea right here. Which being brought forth into the waters, so it's like it, which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. So what says which being brought forth into the sea, which is the area a large you know, people, the waters, the waters being the people shall be healed because you can't hit water can't heal water so what can heal is the truth can heal people and on that note i'm going to give all praise to yahweh by shem yahweh shai by shem rakaq kudash double honors to the apostles elders of gms who were well peace and salutations and shalom